Hey everybody, I bought a cheap RC, um, or at least it was identified on eBay as an RC watt meter. Uh, it measures current, it gives uh, you a reading on volts, the amps, and uh, it also does watts and watts hours, amp hours. And it cycles through the display. You can just read it just now. It's uh, currently reading about 5 watts. Uh, there's a solar panel connected to this. I uh, used a couple of uh, MC4 connectors so I could just plug it in between uh, a solar panel. Um, this solar panel is a what they call an 18 volt panel. Um, it's, not, it's basically a, a 100 watt PV panel with a, a general uh, maximum power point of somewhere around 17 volts. Um, yeah, it's not doing much uh, today, because as you can see, well, can you see? Now you can. Uh, the battery is entirely full, so there's not, nothing uh, going into the battery at this point. It's, uh, it's, that's why the panel is currently hovering at uh, basically the, the, the open, open circuit voltage, which is pretty normal. So they say they say they, it does a uh, hundred amps. What they really meant to say is it does fifty continuous and a uh, hundred amp burst. Uh, oh, by the way, it also lists uh, the peak values for amps. There it goes, three point four amps, and a peak voltage, and a peak watts of fifty eight. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, there's some shading from the tree, so that's not really special in that regard. But hey. It wasn't expensive, it was uh, something I believe like 18 euros, uh, one of the cheaper options. Um, one thing to do note is, um, although this came in this nice blue anodized aluminium box, um, it was actually loose inside, so you had to screw it open using, uh, uh, using the small screws on the side. Focus please, thank you. Um, and well, yeah, there is a grommet for the cable which is fine and then you have this plug on this side what this does is basically it's no normally used uh, for connecting something like a servo or a speed control um, these uh, plug pins were actually touching the aluminium well anodized aluminium doesn't conduct a whole lot of electricity but it's not really what you want per se um, the actual PCB inside, it has uh, double sided tape, but it wasn't actually peeled off, so it wasn't actually sticking to anything. So yeah, that's not really the most useful thing in the world. So it was basically rattling all, uh, in, in the inside of a little aluminium box. I do not approve. Then again, it wasn't too expensive. Uh, one thing to keep note, um, I mean, it, it displays nicely now, but if you're going to use it for something like a solar panel, where the voltage uh, will rise slowly at the start of a day, uh, the microcontroller on this board will uh, basically flip out and not do anything and basically uh, only display a, a long stack of squares on the top row of the LCD because it fails to pro properly initialize something to keep in mind. So if you're using it uh, for a normal uh, power source or for your RC equipment or for that sort of thing it will do fine. If you think of using it with a solar panel, think again, because it only works if you unplug and plug the wire for a moment where it sees a decent voltage in one go, it will initialize properly and then you can have this nice display. Something to keep note and um, yeah, your mileage may vary depending on the amount of money you throw at it. There you go.